Hello guys, I got a couple of requests to make a longer analysis of the GTA 5 trailer. Because I care about my audience, I deliver. I hope you guys will enjoy it. But now you will all have seen the trailer, so I'll cut right into the action. Here we can see an overview of downtown Los Santos, which is based on modern day Los Angeles and Southern California. As you may have noticed, the city is very foggy. This refers to Los Angeles, where there is a lot of smog. I like how they added that, as this will make the city look more realistic. In the background we can also spot the mysterious Zeppelin that has been featured in the other trailer and screenshots, but we haven't heard a word of that yet. I really hope you can enter it and perhaps fly with it. This next shot shows a tennis court, which is of course showing us that there will be some sort of tennis activity, or at least something related. In the background we see a pool. This is the house of Michael, one of the protagonists. He's a more richer one. This explains the swimming pool and personal tennis court. We also spot a gardener on the left hand side. These are all indications that Michael is very wealthy. This is the front side of Michael's house, which shows an awesomely detailed car. I cannot believe how amazing the graphics look. Some people have complained and said it was a GTA 4 engine with vibrant colors. Whilst this could be true, it still feels like a new engine. The amount of detail and the quality of the textures is just amazing. The logo on the hood looks like the Audi logo. Could it be the first time there are real cars in a GTA game? Here we see a fight between Michael's wife and his daughter. We can see that the wife is wearing tennis clothes. This confirms that the house in the first shot is Michael's house. The daughter seems to be independent judging by her tattoos. Michael seems to be a cool dad and he lets his children do what they want. His wife compensates for it by not allowing her daughter's boyfriend to spend the night with her. Here we meet Michael, one of the three protagonists in Grand Theft Auto V. Michael was a successful robber who went to FIB witness protection with a sweet deal. He and his wife have a troublesome relationship and they fail to understand their kids Tracy and Jimmy. The wife keeps spending money and Michael is getting crazy about the whole domestic life. He wants to jump back into the action. This shot shows us a lot of interesting stuff. First of all in the background we can again see that Zeppelin appearing. It has been so prominent in both trailers that it must have a big meaning. We also see a modern pickup truck on the highway, a Sabre GT and an Esperanto. We can also see a train. It's probably going to be possible to hijack them again. The bridges are full of graffiti, which shows us the gangs are still very active around Los Santos. Here we can see some trucks towing trailers. It is unsure whether these are randomized or that we can add our own trailers on these trucks. Outside this bar, we notice a bar fight between two drunks. The car is pretty similar to the Oceanic of Phi City. The car in the foreground looks like the Hustler from San Andreas. The sign reads Pisswasser, which means piss water. This could very well be a reference to Heineken, as they are known for producing piss beer. Now we're introduced to Trevor. He's a psychopath and is addicted to drugs. It looks like he dumped this guy's trailer into a river. Something new is dynamic water. The water hits a trailer. This is a first in a GTA game. Trevor starts a bar fight. The execution looks pretty cool. I wonder if it was just done for the trailer, or that is an actual gameplay element. It would be cool to interact with your environment and do kick-ass executions. Trevor keeps rambling about drugs. Could this be an indication there will be a whole drug selling system and economy in GTA 5? Wishful thinking. I'd love to see something like the system in Chinatown Wars. It's also funny to note that his tattoo says cut here, right where his neck is. He's absolutely crazy. Here we see Trevor driving a buggy. This is a bandito which was first seen in San Andreas. Trevor throws a Molotov cocktail which indicates we will see the return of that. We can also see the fire spreading and liquid physics having greatly improved. As a house explodes, Trevor walks away without watching. This is obviously a reference to cool guys don't look at explosions. In the background we can spot two cars, one being a sentinel and the other being the landstalker. The bullet wounds also resemble the ones from Max Payne 3. They got a lot of praise for that, so it will be nice seeing these types of graphics in GTA 5. Now this shot is very interesting, as we can spot a lot of different things. First of all, there is a train line running in the middle of the street. This is probably the same that was used in San Andreas, near Grove Street. We also see an updated model of the Red Bus, which is in my opinion much better than the GTA 4 ones. In the background, we see the stadium, modeled after the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. We finally meet our third protagonist, Franklin. He is the guy on the left. 
His friend Lamar is the one on the right. Lamar asks Michael if he knows where Berto Beach House is, and in the background we see a tag which reads Balas. This obviously showing us there will be a return of gangs, and more specifically, the Balas gang from San Andreas. Franklin speeds off in a 9F that he repoed. In the background we can see a security camera. Could this be the new pigeon system where we have to shoot down cameras, or is this just a way to gain a wanted star? Time will tell. Here we see Franklin having a discussion with a woman. It is unsure whether she is his girlfriend, wife, or just a normal friend. Franklin seems to be living in an upscale apartment, so he definitely isn't poor. In this image, we can see a car transporter fleeing from a police car. One car falls off. It resembles an Aston Martin DB5, which got really popular thanks to the James Bond series. A car which is similar to the Ferrari Enzo smashes into a minivan. The next shot shows a F620 sports car, which was first seen in the Ballad of Gay Tony. We see Michael again, talking to his therapist. The computer is a parody of the iMac. The mousepad reads I fruit, and the logo is a bowl full of fruit. This is obviously a reference to Apple. Here we see the improved vehicle physics as a car is crushed in between two trucks. These new physics look stunning. This is a scene where Michael and Jimmy, his son, are having a conversation. Jimmy says, okay, let's bounce. At first I thought it was a reference to Jesse, one of the protagonists in Breaking Bad. But then one of my viewers told me, it is impossible, because on Twitter there was mentioned that they do not watch Breaking Bad. It does look similar though. In the background on the left hand side, we also see a restaurant called Natsaki, which is one of those parodies on famous restaurants, just like Pisswater and Heineken. Here we see an airplane, and Trevor is the pilot. Trevor is an ex-pilot, so he'll be the main flyer in the game. Behind him are gang fans. This means there will be a lot of missions concerning gangs. Here we see our three protagonists pulling a heist. They're wearing ski masks. I hope this will return from GTA 4, as I liked running around with that piece of clothing. Here is the much anticipated dog. It was mentioned before there would be animals in the game. I really hope you're able to have these as a pet and that they follow you around whilst you're roaming the street or doing missions. Michael is rappelling down a building. This is apparently a mission that he completes for the FIB, which is the FBI of GTA 5, where he has to kidnap somebody of the IAA, which is the CIA. Now this is amazing. We can see a vehicle falling out of an airplane and then Trevor base jumps out of the car. I really hope this is just not a cutscene and that we can actually do it all the time. I personally thought this was the best part of the trailer. Also note the lens flare, there seems to be a lot of that. I really like how they updated the graphics. Here we see Franklin participating in a high speed off road race. We can see dirt bikes like the Sanchez and also the new quads. We finally get a shot of all three protagonists. In the background we can see a Buzzard helicopter. This was my favorite helicopter and I'm really happy to see it back into the game. The Hydrojet makes a return and blows up a police helicopter, which is the Maverick. Finally we get some airplanes again. I miss those in GTA 4. I can't wait to cruise around in my private jet. And finally, in our last shot we see our three protagonists covering their eyes, mouth and ears. This is a reference to the three wise monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil speak no evil. This probably means something bad is going to happen. Time will tell and we will find out in spring 2013. Thank you guys for watching this quite long analysis. I hope you enjoy. If you did, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.